Yan. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial vlog. Thank you for going back to my channel. Thank you very much also sa lahat ng nanood ng past videos ko. Lalong lalo na sa nanood ng OBS Studio tutorial ko. This past few days, humingi ng tulong sa akin yung sister ko regarding removal of background of their school logo. And I said, sure, PowerPoint lang yan. Nagulat siya at nagtanong, paano? So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ang ginawa ko. Let's do 30 ultimate tips and tricks of PowerPoint. Open your PowerPoint and let's get started. Number 1. Online Pictures In PowerPoint 2020, Microsoft added a online pictures. It's available under Insert tab. Online Pictures Here, you'll find thousands of images that you can insert in your presentation. You may choose different categories or search for a specific one and you can insert it in your presentation. It's resizable, movable, wherever you want. Number 2. Remove Background PowerPoint comes with a great tool to remove background images. Let's say we insert a picture from online pictures and we will select this dog. You will see that this picture has a dog in a foreground and a background that we want to remove. So click the picture first. And go to picture format. Then, remove the background. When you click that, it will highlight the background around that object. It is not yet perfect. We need to mark areas to keep, like right here. Now that we're done, just click Keep Changes and it removes everything in that colored area. Now, you have an image with nothing in the background. At pwede mo rin ito i-save, just right-click the picture, save picture as, make sure that save format type is PNG, so that we can save our image as transparent. Then hit save button. Number 3 is edit shape. If you insert a shape, in PowerPoint presentation, did you know that you can customize it even more? Once it's selected, you have an option here to edit shape, then edit points. Click on any corner and you can drag and move the points to change the shape. And click outside and there you go. You now have a customized shape. Number 4. Morph Transition Morph is a great tool to transition from one slide to the next. Let's say we duplicate this slide, click on the second slide, then go to Transition and click Morph. Now, you'll see the transition from one slide to another. When you are in presentation, that's the action that will occur. 
number 5. Enhanced Morph Kanina, pinakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-move yung object from one place to another. Now, I will show you on how to transform a rectangle shape to circle shape. Go to the first slide and click the object. Look for Arrange and choose Selection Pane. This will tell you the name of the object you selected. To do a Enhanced Morph, you just need to use two exclamation points and a name. So, bali, ito yung name ng object natin. Next, select the second object in second slide. And we're gonna name it the same thing. Now that they have the same name, go to transition and select morph. And that's how you do an enhanced morph. Number six, control plus drag to copy. Select the object first and hold the control key. Then drag a copy. This will also works on text too. Number seven, design ideas. You can change a boarding presentation by turning the design using the built-in design ideas of PowerPoint. Just click on Design, then choose Design Ideas. PowerPoint will turn your text and objects to any design ideas that you may use. You can add pictures and design ideas will use that picture to propose designs. It's a great tool to enhance your PowerPoint presentation. Number 8. QR for Office If you need to add 3D barcode in your PowerPoint presentation, go to the Insert tab, click Get Add-ins, then search for QR for Office. Click Add, Continue, from the menu, you can choose between URL, a secured URL, email address, telephone number, text message, geolocation, or do a custom code. For URL, let's type google.com and it generates a barcode. You can adjust the size, color, and when you hit insert it, it will add to your slide. Barcode is now scannable by any device and it will take you to this link. Number 9. Field Map You can create map in PowerPoint using data in a table. Go to Insert tab, Chart, and from the menu, select Map. 
hit OK, then it will insert to your PowerPoint presentation. This table represents the data in your map. Then remove natin yung ibang data. Then automatically, mag update na yung field map mo. Then remove natin yung remaining data. So ang matitira is United States. Automatically, mag update na yung map natin. You can also change its colors and designs. Number 10. Dictate and Translate PowerPoint has an option to dictate text on a text box. Just go to Insert, Text Box, set it up on your screen, and click Inside. Now, click on Dictate and record your voice. This is a test PowerPoint dictation. New line, smiling face. If your built-in mic doesn't work, try to connect a headset with microphone. You can also choose a variety of languages to record. Translate is available in Review tab. Just highlight some text and click Translate button from the menu. It brings up the translator and it converts the language that you choose. Choose one and hit Insert and it will replace the text in your presentation. You can reverse the translation and insert it back. Number 11. Quick Alignment The quickest method to align objects in your slide is to select them all. Go to Arrange button on Home tab Select Align. Then choose whether you want to align the object. Left, Center, or Right. It will align them on the same location. You can also align by distributing vertically or horizontally. Number 12. Eyedropper Eyedropper allows you to apply a specific color to multiple objects in PowerPoint presentation. Let's select multiple objects by holding the control key. And when we go to the Shape Format menu, under Shape Fill, Let's choose the eyedropper icon. And now, we're gonna select this red color on text and it will fill all the objects with that color. You can also do the same thing in shape outline. And it will apply the outline color to all the objects we've selected. Eyedropper is also available in a bunch of different locations like under Shapes, Effects, Glow, Eyedropper. Number 13, Chart Animation. You can add animation to your chart in PowerPoint presentation. Just select the chart, go to Animations tab, and select Animation Float In. 
And as you can see, the whole chart floats in your presentation. Click on this animation pane and select Effect Options. Choose by series. Then this float each series one at a time. You can also choose by category. Other options are by element in series or by element in category. You can adjust the duration. So to spice up your chart, use chart animation. Number 14, Alt Shift Order. If you have a list and you need to change the order of those items, highlight the item that you want to move. Hold Alt plus Shift and hit the up arrow to move up and down arrow to move down. Number 15. Quick Access Toolbar In the upper left corner of all the office apps, Quick Access Toolbar is located. It gives you the quick access to basic commands in PowerPoint. As you can see, it has Save button, Undo, Repeat, and Start Beginning button. If you click this down arrow, you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar. First, you can select the common commands by turning them on and off. You can also select more commands to select other and add to Quick Access Toolbar. So that's the 30 ultimate tips and tricks of PowerPoint. Looking forward ako na ma-apply nyo to sa mga presentation nyo. Ngayon, kung sa tingin mong natulungan ka ng video na to, pakitulungan din naman ang channel ko. Pa-subscribe naman. I-click mo lang yan. 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 Pati yung notification bell para updated ka sa mga bagong videos ko. Again, this is Arvin Alejandro, your host in EdTech Tutorials. Thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video.